so today I'm not doing a hike it's a it's a loop a circular that's reasonably local to me because I don't want to use any of the petrol that's in my car because I'm going down to my parents soon and I don't want to have to fill up again before I go I spent too much money on petrol this last month so we're going to do something different today we're going to do woodland and bits of a canal it's only 11 degrees this morning but it actually feels really nice I've got a jumper on there's no wind I think this walk is going to be about seven miles. Just gets me out because I haven't really been out this week. The weather's been so awful. I haven't even haven't even wanted to go out unless I had to. It's been so cold and so dark and wet and windy proper autumn. So, hopefully this will be a nice relaxing little walk. Again, I'm probably not going to record all of it phone camera has been really glitchy this week. I managed to upload all but one of my car camping videos and since then I left all the footage on the phone and most of it seems inaccessible now. I don't know if it's the phone that's the problem or the card. I need to maybe swap the card into my other phone and see if it behaves because it may be the phone, it's such an old phone now but sometimes those corrupted files will come back again so maybe it's just a loose connection on the, the connection between the card which is in a little slot inside the phone I don't know I'm not going to worry about it too much because I'm almost certainly going to have to replace my mobile phone at the end of the year because of the apps that don't work on it anymore it's getting to that age where certain apps don't work and it becomes annoying and then it just becomes almost impossible to do things like a lot of my banking because some of my banks are digital only so I've already lost my tandem account because I can't access it now um, which was okay because I'd already emptied the account because the interest rate wasn't as good anymore. So here I am at my first stopping point, on my arrival point. I'm here. Let's go into the woods. an awful lot of woodland walks these days so it's nice to add something different and I certainly haven't done a canal since I started this channel though I used to walk the canals quite a lot before I discovered the moors
So this bridge. Crosses the River Tame. Looks really high at the moment. muddy today. Flooded out a field there. geese. More Canada geese up there.
And that was a wren. <laughs> Didn't get that close to a wren very often. Oh, look. I love this little path. <laughs> I've been here in ages. I have no idea when this was built. I mean, it's a lovely old wall. Or two lovely old walls. And this path takes you up to the canal. we are on is the Peak Forest Canal. I don't know much about the canals or canal boats. Seems like it could be a fun way to live. Oh walls out. That's a shame. Oh, that's school coming down. That is a shame. Someone needs to come and rebuild that. I think they get a bit of trouble around here. There's quite a bit of vandalism and rubbish. It's one of the reasons I don't come here very often is canal side behaviour isn't always so great but I kind of like the idea of canal life I watch um, I watch canal boat diaries the Robbie come in I love that but Being on a canal feels quite restrictive. Look how still that is today. Feels quite restrictive because if you get a really hot summer and the water level drops, you can get grounded. You can have all sorts of problems with boats where help isn't always accessible. Sorry about that, there's a noisy industrial unit just on the other side there. a lot of rubbish down here. The canal itself seems rather lovely. But the tow paths can be a bit iffy. I'm going to follow this canal all the way down to Woodley. It 
seems really peaceful today, doesn't it? That's a moorhen. Built a lot of new housing alongside the canal. There's a lot of reclaimed land here. It'd be quite nice to live alongside a canal. away runs over this bridge so we'll go through the foot tunnel where the canal runs and carry on Tails. You can see them over there. Yeah. Happy 
यार है Say this is a particularly peaceful part of the countryside. Or country, say for countryside. It gets better, I promise. Oh, there's a canal boat. watch the boat go by. Very long that boat. I know they're all different sizes. Look at all these old yards. These would have been storage yards, and boats would have offloaded and unloaded in these places. You can see by the doors that right, go right down to the water there. And then you've got the mill buildings here, which were probably making things that got offloaded onto boats. And you can see there the three doors where the boats would have loaded and unloaded to the different levels. And there's a date as well. This, no doubt, is now flats. Look at that wonderful porchway up the top there. And there's a road bridge there. So the date on this building is 1828. Here's another now they look so cozy what does this say? Cannot read that from here. Now this is a proper old bridge. So when they used to tow the canal boats before they had engines, they towed them with horses. And when you had to cross, so you run out of walkway on this side, and the walkway is now over there. So the horses would be unhooked from the canal boats and they would walk up this fabulous bridge, up around the other side and go down the other side and rehook up. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to be a horse. It goes up like a spiral staircase. And over the other side. Today it's next to Audi's, and then back down the other side, and then you would pick up the towpath there, and your canal boat would be there, and you'd hook up there.
And there is your walkway. I love these. These are the bits of the canals that I really love. I love this old architecture. These were well-kept places at one point. Now people dump rubbish everywhere. That's the only problem. It's why I don't come down here very much is because it's just such a tip. It's full of vape packaging and beer cans. Anyway, we try to ignore that. We'll carry on. This is quite a pretty section. Again, we're surrounded by industrial units and things, so it's not very tranquil, I have to say. But it's teeming with bird life. It's a great cycleway. I did actually cycle this. I acquired a bike back in 2018 and I cycled all the way to Matlock, I think it was. It was a lot of miles, but considerably easier on a bike. Here's a little mooring point here. I don't know if these are permanent moorings. Because I know that some people live permanently on one place and it's basically their house. They don't travel in their boats really. And there always seem to be boats here. black and brown, that black and burgundy boat there is called Digby. Peak Forest Canal Road hides the Tame Valley. These are almost certainly look like permanent moorings. And not all of these boats look inhabitable either. So maybe it's a work yard as well. There's a boat here.
that little, that little boat needs some assistance. This will do. Audacity too. Captain Jack's boatyard. I suspect some of these boats are being renovated or worked on or just long stored. A lot of them don't look like they're being lived in at the moment. That one definitely isn't being lived in. They put UPVC windows in it. How strange. That looks really weird in a boat. very lived in. A garden on the roof, that's what I would do, I'd be growing loads of plants on my roof. It would be plants and solar panels. No name for that one. Lovely garden here, look at that. garden centre or if this is someone's canal side garden it looks like it's a garden centre I think and they've just expanded out to the canal fair dues though it looks nice kind of. Black plastic isn't so good, but... That boat looks lived on. Got solar panels. plant up that whole section. Little escape route there. now it looks like we have to swap sides again over this little bridge here things would improve. This is very picturesque. Thank you. 
good view of that. There you go. Was the Lancashire lass. The lake sits up to the woodland all over the place here. So you can do bits of canal walk and cut through and I guess if you don't have a car and the straightest route is the canal you're going to use it aren't you so this bridge is just partly wooden look these are the rope marks from where the horses would be. So that's years and years of horses towing canal boats, slowly making grooves into the rock. And I learned that from Robbie. Every season is pretty much done. What's left is going over now. I didn't pick as enthusiastically as I should have done. <sighs> but I have some I have some jars to keep me going through the winter. are here eating the hawthorn berries. I wonder if that used to be a milestone marker. Can't read it now. <coughs> Tiny bit of wall there. the Horton Dale Nature Reserve. Which is all the way down on the right here. We're going to stick to the canal for a bit. This is the nice bit of the canal.
nothing for you, mate. As you can tell we're right on the flight path. Imagine a time when there was no noise in the sky. We didn't hear planes. We lead such noisy lives now where you actually can't go anywhere and not hear something human created. There's a little more hen. In the background, you don't, you probably don't even acknowledge it, but in the background, like, there's another plane there. It's the constant drone of aeroplanes. She's up there. Look at that. I think that's a nice place to have a bench. Another one of those walkways down there.
called is a nut hatch. You won't see them because they're right up in the trees, but I'll show you a picture. Another canal boat. Lovely. That's rather lovely. Island. Morning. Beautiful. Looks like a very idyllic way to live. <laughs> a little bridge. Ducks. <laughs> Someone thinks he's going to get a meal. No food, I'm afraid, ducks. The bridge. Oh, look, there's an old factory there. That's derelict. What a shame. Airplanes are relentless here. They're just taking off. Four miles to Ashton to the right, four miles to Marple to the left.
That's a shame. Had a quick look at the map and that building is called Unity Mill. I will try and add some information about it on the screen. Lots of funny little remnants of bits of walls from when this was a much more active and better looked after place. Now it's all just kind of crumbling. I mean, this wall is concreted, so I don't suppose it's that old. But at some point they probably maintained these for walkers. These are all concrete. It's still better than a crumbling mess, but... Yes, you can walk down there. So I am coming to the end of my canal side walk. I can tell because I know where I am. All that barking you can hear, there's a kennels and I know where that kennels is. I've walked around in a bit of a loop so I know where I am. So just down here I will be turning right And then I will be walking back alongside the River Tame. And then at some point I will reach the road. And that will be the end of our journey together. Because there really is no point in recording walks on roads. roads that are of interest. This is a really nice section of the canal here actually. There's a lot of late noise in the background but it's a really nice green section. There's a sports field or sports centre there, so that's what the shouting is about if you're wondering. Oh, someone's put up a bird box. 
in memory of Peter Irwin, 1941 to 2017. How lovely. New. I think I'm okay here. Yeah, this building looks really new, but it says rebuilt 1883, and it looks very empty. steps are up there and I'm not supposed to go up there. There's a sneaky little path down the side of this building that I hadn't spotted. This does not feel like a proper walking route does it? Anyway, this is where I've ended up. This is so noisy here. someone's delivery yard. The thing is, I kind of know where I am, but it's getting to the right bit of where I actually need to be. Oh look, there's some little houses here. Cottages, 1860. I bet this used to be quite a quiet place to live. And now they have a sports, a sports centre at the back of them and a delivery yard to the right. <laughs> at least they are nice and close to the river. So they've got nice walks on their doorstep because they're right on the edge of the nature reserve here. But they are also under the flight path, so that's not quite so good. Right, so the kennels are off to the right. They're the kennels that we heard the dogs earlier. And we are going left. And you might be able to hear the river. Can I show you the river? Just about. There's the river, River Tame, just down there. Up 
here on the right, I need to turn right at the waterfall. And then I'm on the home straight, so to speak. I know where I am then. I mean, it's not actually quite the waterfall, the waterfall is a little bit further down. But this is the bridge near the waterfall. Here is the River Tame. And ironically, this is the wood where I recorded the first video entry to this YouTube channel in December I'm not going to go all the way down to the front. <laughs> Too many steps to climb. lovely damp river smell combined with damp earth and plants and nature and it smells good. We now have blue sky. So I'm going to switch off now. I'm pretty much at the end of my walk here. I'm not sure how long I've been out or how far I've walked but I will add that little pedometer thing that I do at the end or right about here I'll have a look at it once I get home because I still have a bit of walking to do along busy roads 